This is Bill and Deb North of the Florida Weekend Warriors. And this weekend, we're heading to Oscar Shear State Park. It's in Nokomis, Florida, and it's right on the Legacy Trail in Sarasota. And it also has a freshwatered lake that's spring-fed. It's really a nice park. We'll see you there. See ya. The new one lane bridge. Your RV will fit over it, I promise. This is the view from the front of our campsite, looking down the road at some of the other campsites. And I'll see it's very heavily wooded. You really feel like you're back to nature here. So this is our campsite. One of the things that you have to remember to bring, make sure you do bring your bikes because it's, as Bill said earlier, it connects to the Legacy Bike Trail, which will go down to Venice, which is where we may go for lunch today. So we'll see. Campsite, all of them are all different sizes. So you do need to make sure that you look on Reserve America to make sure that you are getting a campsite that is for your length of vehicle and rig. Nice, they all have fire pit areas. They all have a place to hang wet clothes and your trash. One thing that you have to be aware of though is the water. The water is very far to the back of all the campsites and you are splitting it with somebody so it is very important to realize that you do need extra hoses to make it to the water hookup. Again, all the campsites are nicely wooded area campsites so it is something that makes you feel like you are out in the middle of the woods all by yourself so they are pretty private. We'll take you to the rest of the park and our adventure so stay with us yeah i think the water hose probably needs to be about 100 feet because we brought a 50 foot hose and like a 15 foot hose and we were way short we actually have a spare hose but we actually got here late at night so by the time we got here we're just using our holding tank water so again make sure you do have that extra hose because it will make a big difference and all these sites are different sizes some of them are only 20 feet deep so pay attention on reserve america when you book it this is uh site 43 it's a nice deep site, so um, there's plenty of good sites here. Here's the bathhouse. It's got laundry. Um, bathhouses are a little old, they could use a little updating. Oh. Guess I was trying to go into a closet. to know what's going on at the park just go to the bathroom it's on the back of the stall door interesting place to put the uh, itinerary we're at the lake this is spring fed he's gonna there's give a, us a water temperature report yeah there's there's no lifeguards here but it's a really nice beach and it's a spring fed lake got to be careful sometimes there's alligators in it but you are allowed to swim in it if you're real ambitious, you can even ride your bike on these trails. Uh, they go right through the woods. They're pretty nice trails, but um, we're not that ambitious today. We're gonna head to the Legacy Trail. It's all the way in the very back of the park. The uh, park actually borders the Legacy Trail all the way in the back. And in the back, there's a really nice um, pavilion, a picnic area. There's even a place for your uh, dog to get a drink. The Legacy Trail is the old railroad tracks that was used by the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, but it hasn't been used since 1992. Uh, so th in 2003, the county bought it and turned it into a bike trail. Sarasota County is also in the process of, of extending the bike trail. It's going to go another nine miles and it's going to go all the way into downtown Sarasota. There's the trail. It's open till dark. There's what's left of the old railroad tracks. This creek goes back to the, goes right, right through the campground. Here's an historical plaque. Tells you about the history of the uh, park itself and this um, railroad trussle that's uh, now abandoned. We're going to continue on our bicycles and go all the way down to the Nokomo's Tiki Hut. We're in Nokomo's. Well, 
Oscar Sheard Park is actually in two main sections. There's the South Creek area, which is actually on the right hand side as you're heading towards the camping area, and it's actually before you go over the bridge. This area is right on the creek, and it has a floating dock and a place where you can rent canoes. And it also has a beautiful picnic area, which we'll show you in a couple minutes. This floating dock has a special kayak launching area right in the middle of it. It's very convenient for a kayak or a canoe. Looks like it's $16 per hour per boat. That sounds high, but it, I think you probably only use it one or two hours. It's a beautiful picnic area. The nice playground, bathrooms and water fountains, picnic tables and charcoal grills. Bill and Deb North of the Florida Weekend Warriors. Thanks for joining us on our adventure. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and also give us a comment. We'll sure to respond. Thanks, and we'll see you on our next adventure. See ya. See ya.